Welcome to this channel. Here we bring to you what is happening in the world of politics in Nigeria. Here is the latest news update. The tribunal sitting in Abia State has declared Alex Oti of the Labour Party winner of the March 18 governorship election. Now the news in detail. The Abia State Petition Election Tribunal sitting in Umaya, the state capital, has affirmed the declaration of Governor Alex Oti as the winner of the March 18, 2023 governorship election in Abia State. The governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Chief O.K. Ahiwi, in the March 18 governorship election and his counterpart of the All Progressive Congress, Chief Ikechi Eminike, had approached the court to seek the sacking of Oti over allegations of non resignation of his membership from the APC before joining the Labour Party. Also joined in the petition were the candidates of the Young Progressive Party, Nana Uwanfo, and the Independent National Electoral Commission. Recall that INEC had declared Oti the winner of the election after pulling 175,467 votes to defeat his closest rivals, PDP candidate Agiwe, who scored 86,529 votes, and one for the YPP, who pulled 28,972 votes. The petitioners had alleged that OT's name was not in the Labour Party's membership register before his nomination as the party's governorship candidate. They also prayed the court to sack the governor for allegedly submitting a reference letter to INEC instead of a discharge certificate or an exemption letter. But in an unanimous judgment on Friday, the tribunal led by Justice JTT Guada dismissed the petition filed by the IUA and the PDP for lacking in merit. The tribunal delivered its judgment based on three tripod of if the respondent was elected by the majority of lawful votes cast, if the election was marred by irregularities, and if corrupt practices and the issue of membership and sponsorship of a candidate was a pre-election matter. The court ruled that the petitioners failed to prove the case of alleged irregularities and manipulation of election results in pooling units won by the respondent. The tribunal also struck out a motion by the petitioner alleging that the results of Obinika local government area during the election was taken to Abuja and manipulated before returning same to be announced in the state coalition center in Umaya. The tribunal also struck out another motion by the petitioner that the respondent did not submit his NYC discharge certificate to INEC because of the inability of the petitioners to prove their case with evidence. Also ruling on the petition brought before it by the APC's governorship candidate in the state, Chief Ikechi Emenike, challenging the nomination of OT by his party, the tribunal heard that the membership and sponsorship of a candidate for any election is an internal affairs of the party. The court equally ruled that the matter was a pre-election matter which should have been disposed of by the Federal High Court before the election. The tribunal also heard that Anybody challenging the nomination of a candidate for the governorship election and an aspirant during the primary election that produced the candidate is a melt sum interloper. The tribunal therefore dismissed the matter for lacking in merit. It's not about the video. It's shows about Abia people. I'm sure you know if you were in Abia, it was only in Abia that there was quite wide jubilation on the day of that election when the results were announced. And uh, the people have been expectant, we think, for this judicial seal, which we've received today. So the court has just uh, reconfirmed that passive vote that they got on the 18th of March. Now we have right appeal to the Court of Appeal, to the Supreme Court, and we'll proceed to that point so that the relevant sections of the law will be interpreted properly by the courts. The appeals court, do you understand? Because a situation where the tribunal said today that membership of a political party to contest an election does not matter. But that is a clear provision of the Constitution. If it does not matter, the Constitution would not have, have said so. The Constitution says you must be a citizen of Nigeria. You must have been educated up to a certain level. They are referring to honor against the cover, which started under the 1979 Constitution, where this provision does not exist. So we'll get to the Supreme Court. It is, we are learning every day so that the appellate court will tell us 
the provision of section 177C of the 1999 constitution 